So good morning, sir. I am Hari Haran from Chennai. I am doing my second year in aerospace engineering. Sir, uh, it's very glad to meet you. And uh, we know that you were an IPS officer and uh, you were having a very inspiring lifestyle. People of Karnataka and of course here, everyone loves you a lot. So could you share us who inspired you? Because you inspired us in a very long term. Uh, so could you tell us who inspired you and what way they inspired you so that we can have a way in our life so we can follow them? Uh, thank you, Hari. Uh, I'm not sure whether I really inspire you. I live my bit of life. And uh, maybe if you can take something here and there, I'll be, I'll be very grateful and happy for that. Um, my life is a uh, life of a bit complexity in the initial side, where at the class 12, if somebody asked me what you want to become, I was clueless. There are only two choices in front of me, either to become an engineer or a doctor. But I felt studying medicine would be tough. At the, the class 10, you have to decide whether biology or computer science. I said, I cannot do that. I'll take a simpler one. I took computer science, then engineering. Again, engineering, I don't know. Again, why mechanical engineering, I don't know. But I studied. But after finishing the mechanical engineering, if somebody asked me what you want to do in life, I said, I don't know. I said, I don't know. When many of my friends in the class, they all took up a job. I was the only guy in the class who never took up a job. Because I didn't know what to do with the job. Whether to go join, go through the training, work. Because I didn't know what I wanted to do. So this thing was there for me for a long time. Then MBA, Lucknow UP by fate. There some kind of an understanding I got about life. Okay, maybe this is what I want to do. I want to serve people help others, make my life more meaningful. Probably I felt civil service is the better one, went there. Civil service is a huge teaching in a country like India, where you have one IPS officer and IAS officer for one district as the SP and the collector. You deal with an average of 14 lakh to 20 lakh people in the district, all kinds of human beings. One, two, three years you spend in the district as the SP of the district. You see all kinds of things. That's, that was a cop. You see death, brother. Death. Death is a great teacher in life. Great teacher in life. Great teacher. Nothing teaches you more about life than a simple death. And unfortunate to see a lot of deaths. Murder. Brutal murder. Somebody just falling down and dying. Somebody going in a car and dying. Somebody going in a horse and dying. Somebody traveling in their family. Happy family. Joyful family. <laughs> within minutes <coughs> going under the truck and the whole family collapsing or in some cases extreme cases in my book I have written the rape and murder of a 10th standard girl it is also a death a horrible death a death which we wish shouldn't happen to any other person so all this process when you go through I somehow felt your soul gets cleansed because you have to see everything, you have to hear everything, you have to see the photograph, you have to see the postmortem, you have to see all those horrible things. And more than that, you got to sit with the parents, explain to them this has happened. Just imagine. Many a time, unfortunately, in being a cop, we will be the first person telling their parents that their loved one has died. They're shocked, they're crying. And police station, when you when you write the FIR, when you write the the procedural formalities when the father and mother patiently waiting, crying with the tears in their eyes. Because only when you do the procedural formality, only if it gets completed, then probably the postmortem will happen. Then probably the loved one's body can be handed over to them. I was, uh, I was a witness to all those unfortunate moments in my life. Unfortunate moments. People, there will be just tears rolling in their eyes. The father and mother quietly sitting in a police station chair just for that one signature because they have to put it. So when you go through all those things, brother, you understand life is something beyond what we live. Beyond what we live. There are some beautiful, noble people. They, they might not have done any mistake in their life. Still their son or daughter gets killed in an accident. Like you, at your age, they come to a campus, they drive a car, drive a two-wheeler, drive a motorbike, they go head kid, they kill. But when you look at the life of the father and mother, they lived a purely blissful life, spotless life, clean lives. But you ask the question to the God, 
wherever God and the Almighty and the universal forces are, why to him? Why to him? Why to this parent? Why to this mother? And why should people like me, probably the middlemen operating in a system, in a bureaucratic system, why should I see that pain? Why should I be the forebearer of that bad news to them? For you also, I think your life will take you in those places. I don't know, whatever jobs you do, you will go through all those moments. That purifies your soul. That teaches you there is something beyond it. When a, when a, when a, when a girl, in standard girl, in Bindur in Udupi district, she was supposed to come home at 6.30, she didn't come home at 6.30. When the parents started searching for the girl, they found the girl's body at 8.30 in the night, she was raped and killed. We arrested the accused within, within, within a matter of time. When I went to the girl's home to convince her mother, as the SP of the district, when I told their mother, look, God has taken your child, I'm so sorry. But we did our best. Who, who has done this to your, to your daughter? We have taught them. They will go through a judicial process. They will get punished in our system. The first thing the mother asked me is, I don't care about it, sir. I'm repeating again. The first thing the mother told me is, I don't care what you did. For me, it doesn't matter. All I care is, can you bring back my daughter to me? She is not bothered about judicial system. She is not bothered about the process of law. She is not bothered about... She doesn't even know who are the faces of those people. What are the faces? How do they look like? She didn't even care. All she wanted was, can you give me back my child to me? So you live in those moments. You live in those moments. You convince them. So all those moments taught me. I take a lot of inspiration from those moments. A lot of inspiration. A lot of inspiration from people in their unfortunate circumstances. Many a times it is also the fortunate part. But somehow I felt it is more than the great things you see, people happiness you see, joyful people you see. But the real meaning of life for you comes in those unfortunate moments when you question everything about your life. Why this is happening? Why that is happening? So I am not asking any all of you to put through yourself to that. All I am saying is get out of your comfort zone. Till you are in your comfort zone, the comfort zone will never allow you to see things the way it is supposed to be seen. It is more like a Maya. Again in Yoga Sutra, Swami Vivekananda talks very beautifully about Maya. How the screen of Maya in front of your eyes, it hides everything. The Maya gives you worldly pressures. It gives you everything whereby you don't see the true meaning of life which is actually beyond that wheel. How to lift that wheel? Lifting that wheel itself is the essence of Maya. So only thing I would tell Hari is, I cannot pinpoint one guy, two guy, three guy here, but I can pinpoint thousands of people who taught me. Even I am an imperfect human being. All of us are imperfect human beings. We are in the process of being perfect. For some of us it might take 90 years, for some of us it might take 100 years. For a person like Adi Shankaracharya, it is a matter of months or years. But like many of you, I am also an imperfect person trying to become perfect in the process, making mistakes, learning from it learning from all those things. So I would say, you will also go through it. When you come out of your comfort zone, that will teach you many things. Probably put all those teachings for the betterment of humanity.